Sometimes we just have to unlearn everything that we know. Stop drawing a line in the sand saying, I'm not going to cross this because of social norm. There's nothing norm about you or the situation. So why are you doing it? Just let go. Let God. And attract everything that you want in your life instead of living in the pain and the suffering because of what others will think. Because it's not socially acceptable. All that stuff is horse shit. Horse shit. Gonna go get my horse named Mayo. If you're not doing what you love, then stop doing it. If it doesn't make you happy, then stop doing it. It's like you're a gluttony for pain. You enjoy making yourself upset. You enjoy the emotions, the painful emotions, because you're too busy worrying about what everyone else thinks. So you wear a mask and pretend like you're someone you're not. I started to drop my mask a little bit the other day at work. And I let my dirty mind slip a few times. And I'm like, nope, 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 nope. But to be honest, it felt good. I'm so sick and tired of people judging me for who I am. Love me or leave me. There's nothing in between. I post about my journey on here and on other social platforms to help you guys. See that it is okay and that social norm is not actually norm. That's the fear. The fear that everyone wants to put on you so you live a miserable life. You die alone. You're stuck in that sadness. Sadness leads to sickness. Nowhere in the Bible does it say God wants you to suffer. It actually says he wants you to have everything that you want and to not fear. And yet we put words in his mouth to act like that's what he wants from us. Go after what you want and stop letting somebody else who lives in fear put you in that fear. Because in the end, it doesn't even matter. The only thing that matters in the end is your happiness, not theirs. Because they're probably not even supposed to be in your life anyways if they're going to treat you like that. You'll be surprised how much people will accept the real true you they will have your back and if they don't they're not your person they're not meant to be in your life let them go so you can grow i feel like i'm fighting the devil here which is ironic because the people i'm fighting against think i am the devil a cheater will always accuse you of cheating they'll guilty will always accuse you of what they're guilty of because they know they're guilty